If you're looking to expand your horizons and extend your time on the water, a great way to do that is get yourself into an express cruiser. And a great boat to do that with is this week's Foodita subject, a 2006 Regal 2665. The Commodore 2665 has a sleek looking design from any angle, which earns her favorable comments. Now when you're looking at used 2665s, make sure you find one with this optional swim platform. The extended platform makes great access to the water. And in the integrated swim platform, you'll find three great wet lockers that are self-draining. The double-facing bench seats in the cockpit provide ample room for guests while underway, then convert quickly to a sun lounge. Access to service the Volvo 5.7 GXI and other points is quite reasonable. For entertaining, the cockpit has a small refreshment center with a sink, along with storage and a built-in cooler. The double helm seat slides smoothly and incorporates a single bolster. A tilt wheel ensures a comfortable position seated or standing. The helm is well laid out and functional with more room to flush mount electronics than usually found on boats this size. Access for it is gained via molded steps adjacent to the helm and through the windshield walkthrough. The companion door is a two-piece arrangement that provides respectable headroom. Down below the salon is quite roomy on the 2665. There's an awful lot of seating here in the dinette and of course this converts to a very comfortable berth for two with great light and ventilation from the overhead hatch and the port windows. While compact, the Regal's galley does provide the essentials including a single burner cooktop, stainless sink, and a compact AC-DC fridge. Adjacent to the galley are clean panels for the ships and shore power, digital controls for the air conditioning and heating, and a first-rate marine stereo system. Opposite the galley is the head, which features an opening port, handheld shower, molded vanity with stainless sink, and a vacuum flush head. The mid-cabin will comfortably sleep two adults. When staying aboard, you'll appreciate the screen port and wide opening to the salon for ventilation, as well as the two lockers. Departing the marina at idle, I was pleased that even with a single stern drive, the 2665 tracked well, only requiring minimal steering input. With a light load, the 320 horsepower Volvo GXI dual prop effortlessly powered the 2665 onto plane at part throttle. Pushed hard, the 2665 planed in 6 seconds. Cruise was a respectable 26 miles per hour at 3500 RPM. At this cruise, under steady conditions, the Regal should have a range of 120 to 130 nautical miles. Running faster at cruise, the hull delivered a smooth ride, effortlessly cutting through the waves. Turns were precise without sliding, and the Volvo dual prop stayed hooked up in the tightest of turns. Well, that was a great on-water test. This Regal handles really well, almost like a sport boat. It's bringing back some great memories, because back through the 90s, I owned a 24-foot Regal Express, and my family really enjoyed it. If you're looking for your first Express Cruiser or a step up in size, this is certainly a model you should look at. The price is right. You've got a great cockpit for enjoying the sunshine and some swimming, and there's great accommodations below for a family to enjoy a weekend or a week away on the water. <laughs>